Okay, hello everyone. And this is going to be a rant video. Um, I don't like to make these rant videos, um, especially about World of Tanks or World of Tanks Blitz. Um, but I feel like um, this sort of summarizes what most people think. So, as you can see, Blitzfair has arrived, Hazar, again. It, it arrived on the 22nd of December, better late than never. I think the last Blitzfair Blitz Fair arrived earlier than that, but at least they got it in. Um, and we all remember the Blitz Fair last time, right? Um, you could pick up loads of tanks which you wanted um, for a sum of money, but it wasn't a random thing. You could see them and bang you could get them. There were 60,000 of each vehicle, or 10,000 or something was it, of each vehicle which you could get. And indeed, I picked up the um, Type 59 there that we can see in the background, so I picked up that. A Type 62 Dragon, which is also another rare light tank. Um, I also picked up the Defender and the KV-5. Um, all four fairly rare vehicles to see on the battlefield. Um, and I was super happy with them, even though I did spend admittedly too much money, but I don't mind that because I'm terrible with money. Um, but I like to support games that I enjoy playing, which for one of them is World of Tanks Blitz. Um, so, you know, Sure, I spent pro admittedly too much money getting these tanks, but I did get them, and it was a simple purchase in the garage. However, this time they've changed it around, and it is far, far, far worse than last time. So you've got the auction, which we had last time. Yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. We have the chess, which we had last time. Yep, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. But then we have this super game, and the super game is the biggest problem. Um, so, first up, the tickets, yeah, okay, it, the tickets are exactly the same. You can buy tickets. One ticket is 50 gold. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, and you can buy chests with these tickets. You've got a standard chest, which you can open for four tickets, or a legendary bomb for seven tickets. Um, and, of course, you've got the auction, which per which goes exactly the same way as it did last time. The price continually drops as um, less vehicles go by and as the hours count down towards the end of the fair. Um, and so, yeah, I'm waiting for these other ones. No idea what they'll be. Um, but then we've got the chests. So the chests got your standard. For your standard chest, you can get the IS-2 SH, Dritzwagen, all of these different things, blah, blah, blah. You can get one to six tickets, 25 to 100 gold, credits and boosters or premium accounts. Um, and you get one or two of these prizes and you get some super game progress points. Um, for opening a standard chest you get four super game progress points and for opening a legendary chest you get seven. Um, and so standard chest you can get these things. In the legendary chest you can get a choice of, well you can win one of these things rarely, which are vehicles. You can win some of these things, standard ticket, gold, credit, premium, boosters. But then you can get these progress points towards receiving vehicles, which most people will have anyway, but you can get points towards them. Um, and you can trade in your tickets, and you'll get points every time you open a um, legendary chest, and they'll fill up this bar. And then once you get it, you can redeem the vehicle, and then voila, you'll get it, is the ideal way of doing it. Um, and basically, uh, it's a, a pile of crap for varying reasons. Um, I mean, you get 500, um, and you can bet two. Every time you open it, you'll get 500 points towards one of these vehicles. Um, and you can bet two tickets um, to double that if it does indeed drop. But if it doesn't drop, then you're out of luck. And you've just wasted two tickets, which are difficult to get by themselves. Um, and then 500 points will give you two tickets, 1,000 points will give you four tickets, blah, 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 blah. Um, and, well, yeah, as you can see, I've got the Stradzwagen 74A2, except I don't, um, because I have completed all of the progress points towards it, as you can see, got a circle with a tick in it. Oh, okay, I should have it in my garage. No, I don't. It has not yet appeared in my garage for some reason. Um, so, yeah, no idea why. But you get, every time you open these, you get seven super game points, and here is the super game. Once you get 153 of these points, you get to play. Um, and you can only get these from opening chests and winning prizes. And now we come to the super game prizes. Um, so you can get progress points towards research, towards getting some of these tanks. The Lecouf Panzer, the Experimental, 
the Chinukai or the Type 64, which is a new light tank, Tier 6 light tank. But then you've got these other ones. You've got the M60, which already caused an uproar. You've got the new Tier 8 Heavy, Chieftain T95, British Heavy, by the way. Very important that it's a very British Heavy, because we have barely any British premium tanks, especially heavy tanks. So, yeah, sure, fantastic. Then we come to the bad points, which is that you can get 30 tickets. That's crap. If you get 35 tickets, it costs 17.50 gold. You can easily buy tickets. I mean, not easily, because it still costs a, f a whole load, but you can at least still get them cheaper than it would take you to fill up this progress bar and then have a chance of winning these. So you can either win 30 tickets, which is crap, you can win 2,500 gold, which is also crap for the amount of m gold that it actually takes to fill up this game. Or you can get crappy spare parts, which you get anyway. I mean, spare parts is useful because spare parts, I still don't like them, but you at least get spare parts. Okay, fair enough. Here's where the really terrible part of this comes in, because these things are really rare to get. These things are pretty useless for what it is, or you get these progress points. Now, if you've already got a Chinukai, which I have, and if you already have a Lekov Panzer, which I have, and if you already have an experimental, uh, a mutant experimental, which I already have, these are useless. You can trade them in for tickets. Alright, fair enough. You get 32 tickets, about, for filling up this bar, or this bar, or this bar. I mean, the best thing that I've won out of this super game right now is 1500 points towards the Type 64, which is the vehicle which I am least excited about getting in this, which is, you know, alright, it's crap. Okay, so when the Blitz Fair came about, I bought the most amount of gold that you can get, which gave me 32,000 gold. Um, yeah, that's a lot of money, I know, but I did it, and I got 32,000 gold. I am down to 6,260 gold, and this is what I have to show for it. A small amount towards the Type 64. I'm a third of the way towards the Type 64. If I was to get the Type 64, I would need to fill this up twice. I don't even know if I have enough gold to fill it up twice. Um, I mean, you can use free XP, but one ticket is 25,000 free XP. It's just far better just to buy, use it, just to use gold and buy it. So. Let's say I was to open some of these chests, okay, just to prove, just to prove how useless this is. Okay, so I am going to buy, let's see, half of 70, that's a 35, so yeah, if I buy 35 gold, 35 tickets, alright, fair enough. And I open some of these legendary chests because you get 7 super game points over 4. So, gotta open some, okay, points towards the type 59, already have that, plus useless crap, so there you go. Progress towards Type 69 again, or Type 59, fantastic, and some crappy boosters. Crappy boosters, T-54 first prototype, not interested. Type 59, more of them, plus useless boosters. Okay, Stritzwagen, already have that, supposedly, and that's it, I'm out of tickets. So, yeah, got useless stuff. Now, Type 59, I already have that, I can change that into six tickets. Uh, Stritzwagen, technically already have that, trade that in for two tickets. Um, T-54 first prototype, okay, yeah, don't care about it, there we go, I now have another 12 tickets. Let's open it again. What do I get? Points towards a glacial, okay. Scroll down to the glacial, okay, I've got two tickets, yeah, I now have another seven tickets, I can open it again. What do I get? Crappy boosters, and towards the IS-2 SH, okay, yeah, okay, fairly useless, alright. See, 125 towards it, okay, I'm now down to 4,500 gold, okay. Let's open a couple more. Let's open 21. That's another thousand gold. Yeah. Process towards the AC4 Sentinel, which I already have. Towards the IS2, which I already have. Towards the T54 first prototype, which I already have. And that's it. I'm, I'm out of tickets. So let's scroll down again. Exchange. Yep. Yeah. Don't need any of that. Exchange. Yep. Yeah. And exchange. There we go. Now I have another ten tickets. So I mean, Go again. Okay, progress towards the Stratzwagen, which we already have. And yeah, okay. So super game points. I have exactly 153. Okay. Now let's play. Okay. 
let's see what I get. Useless spare parts. So, yeah, absolutely useless. The Blitz Fair is absolute crap, basically. Um, you have the auction, yeah, sure. You have the crates, yeah, alright, sure. The crates don't actually contain anything useful to you. That's the key, though. It, you get nothing useful. You get points towards receiving vehicles. Okay. I don't know whether they appear instantly in your garage, because I have yet to receive my Tier 6 Stridswagen, which is a shame. I mean, it's the vehicle which I most wanted to get, because I have all the others, basically. I have no interest in this thing, but, you know. So technically, I already have this Stridswagen, but, again, no idea where it is. And this is a another pile of shite. Um, I don't even know if I have got enough gold left to get another spin on the super game. And even if I do, I'd be lucky to get one of these two. Um, I'd probably want to get the Chieftain T95 over the M60, but either one is, is nice. Um, but yeah, basically, Blitz Fair, terrible. Just absolutely god-awful. Um, I mean, I don't know who at Wargaming thought this was a good idea, but it just honestly isn't. Um, and, yeah, this is just sort of calling you out on it, because it, it's just... The Blizzfire last time was wonderful. I mean, it was a it was a really good thing. If only they brought it back in exactly the same way, that would have been much better. This, however... Or more importantly, this... No, just... Just, no. Um, I mean, if they'd sh if they'd sold that separately in the shop, I would have been happy. Um, all that in in the shop. I mean, bundling the three of them together would have also been a, a, a wonderful idea. But no, they decide to go with this gambling thing, and it's the fact that it's gambling. It's a gamble whether you get any of the three top prizes. Uh, technically, two because that you have still have to play it three times and ideally get it each time in order to unlock the Type sixty four. And of course, it's luck based. And the luck is really slim. You could play this a hundred times, this super game, and you wouldn't get an M60 Chieftain or points towards the Type 64. You could get you play it a hundred times and get any of the other six prizes. Um, and it's just gamble, and it's that's the that's the problem. It's gambling, and that's just no, just why. Um, and so yeah, I was really hyped for the Blitz Fair. To be honest, I was hyped for the Blitz Fair, but then they brought it out, and that hype just went and was replaced by anger and disgust. And it's just really not good at all. And it's a shame, because I do like Blitz. I don't mind spending money on it. But what I do mind spending money on is gambling. I hate gambling. It, I, don't, I don't play gambling games, even though people go, Oh, it's just a game. I don't care. I just do not like gambling. And this is still gambling. Um, and it's just... No. Just why? Um, it's a whole gambling aspect, and the whole gambling aspect is the big, biggest, biggest problem. Um, they may release the Chieftain in the future. I doubt it, but they might. There is still a slim chance of hope of saving this. But this, of itself, is just horrible. Um, and that is my say on it. Um, I'm calling them out. Blitz fair. It's, it's not a fun fair. It's, uh, it's a hell fair. Um, to be honest. Um, so yeah, sorry for the rant, um, but yeah, I'll thank you all for listening, and if you agree, say so, um, because honestly, it's just not, this just, it, it doesn't feel like Christmas, <laughs> like the last Blitz Fair. You can decorate the hangar as much as you want with Christmassy things, which they have, but this is not in the spirit of Christmas. Um, and that's my final say on the matter. Um, I'll thank you for for listening, and goodbye.